Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, in today's snapshot uh, webinar, we are taking a look at uh, what we are doing in terms of energy efficiency in our research project uh, called Greenfield. And for this, I will have to uh, give you a little more uh, background on, on, on the research topic itself. For this, we, we will have a look at this, this uh, tiny weather map, which is just a bunch of pictures clicked together. It shows uh, a measurement setup, which is actually used uh, in, in the University of Würzburg, where they have this, this uh, orange network switch here, which is then actively measured using two different devices. So they, they, are, um, they have some kind of comparability between those uh, devices. And they measure for, for different properties or for different uh, parameters. Um, in this example, you can see, for example, uh, the, the power consumption of this network device uh, depending on the, the number of ports that I use in this, uh, for this device, which ranges up to uh, 48 uh, ports. And you can see there is a slight increase in, in the power that is actually used, which is quite expected since the, the more you use the device, then you expect uh, more power to be used. But uh, if you have a, a tiny look at the, the uh, y-axis here on the graph, you see the, the actual variation is just about about one or one to two watts. So there's not that much of a difference. <clears throat> and the same, or even 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 worse here, you can see if we uh, um, vary the, the, the applied bandwidth um, for a port, then you see uh, there's almost no uh, variation in the real power consumption of the device itself, which poses quite some problems when trying to, to uh, design more efficient uh, topologies and so on. But in this in this scenario, um, we wanted to, to just um, create some kind of visibility for how much power each device in, in the network will actually consume. <clears throat> to this end, um, we were actually uh, we actually converted these these uh, measurements into some kind of formula, which I won't show you today, and uh, um, put them into our stable server in a running or not a running system but the backup of a running system of a stable net server um, which uh, allows us to to investigate the the power consumption of certain devices in there so as i said this is a this is not a running system so you see there there's basically nothing uh, going on if we look at analysis there's no no uh, there are no monitors or basically no status um, but still, we have measurements which are historic data from, from one of our um, <clears throat> project partners. And for example, here in this, uh, in this device, let's, let's just look at some of the interfaces. First, you can see there's some kind of um, yeah, typical uh, daily variation. So this is the course of one month. You can see every day you, can, you get this increase and then decrease again. So it, basically the day and night cycle. <clears throat> of of this device. <clears throat> now, if we have a look, we have, we uh, included these external measurements here. This power consumption. This um, we want to add this to the chart. So now you see here uh, in the top in this color in the cyan color, you see here this is the the, the actual real power consumption. And you see uh, you have to be careful. Maybe you just just use the the, the um, the interesting parts. So let's just no, not the quantiles. Um, let's just use. Let's go to the measurement settings. We want to have the interface bandwidth charts and only here the power usage. And then, yeah, this is the plot I wanted. <clears throat> and you can see here, also in the 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 power consumption of our device, we also have this this typical day and night cycle it goes up and then down again <clears throat> and it somehow corresponds also obviously to the um, to the, the the actual bandwidth chart and as you can see here we are in the range of about um, 210 to 225 watts so there's not a lot of variation uh, variation going on and we can um, even go further and have a look at uh, maybe even a different device just for comparability, let's go down there and let's take one of them, maybe this one, and look at the power consumption of this device. <clears throat> so 
you only want the power itself. And now you see there's a huge difference between those two devices. Obviously, this is because they're, they're meant for different purposes. Um, the, the upper one, this is a, a core device, which is basically used in the network core of a communication network, whereas this one is used, uh, the, the, the lower one is used in as a customer premise equipment, so far uh, closer to the actual customer itself. <clears throat> but still, there's a, different, a difference of about uh, almost 200 watts uh, in these devices. And you can see there's almost no, no uh, variation visible anymore, obviously, because um, this, these are far lower values here now here on this axis. But still, the difference itself is, is not, uh, not that strongly dependent on, um, on the actual bandwidth going through this, uh, the network device. And therefore, we also have some different measures here, like, for example, the, the energy efficiency, uh, which shows you how efficient is uh, the this, this, this system. This basically a number which is just for comparison uh, between two devices. This is not helpful for anything else. So in, in this case, we can just uh, compare the, those two devices uh, in, in, in some way. <clears throat> but we see this, it's a bit different to, to, to spot actual differences. It's just, uh, um, yeah, so, some additional measures. <clears throat> we have some emission rates. Um, CO2 emission rates. These obviously are one to one corresponding to the actual um, um, to the actual power consumption because it's just basically power times um, some uh, carbon intensity based on on, on the um, energy mix that you do that you actually use. <clears throat> now we want to take a look further uh, at the whole system itself. For this, uh, we created this uh, weather map here. And this weather map, uh, there's there's a few dis different things we can see, um, in different colors. So you see here these these little dots. These are your network devices. Um, so um, they are uh, basically uh, different power consumption. You can see here in, in green, these are the ones uh, below 10 watts. In yellow, the ones between 10 and 100 watts, and so on. Like you see here in in, in the top of the graph. <clears throat> Then uh, uh, for the links themselves, we have a utilization. Uh, basically, the coloring follows the utilization of the of the network link or the, the network interfaces, <clears throat> which is just um, yeah, thirty percent, then thirty to forty percent, forty to fifty percent, and so on. And you see here, most of the uh, network itself is actually not really uh, well used or not really much uh, used. You can see here is all, almost all of them are below 30%. There's a little bit of variation here uh, in, in this um, specific case where you see, okay, these two links are um, almost uh, more, more than 50% used or utilized. And we'll get uh, into a, a bit more details in, in, in a report I will show in, in a minute on why these are a bit special also. But still, uh, the, message, the, the one of the main messages uh, here is there's a low utilization in this network, um, but the the overall power consumption um, does not really change, or that does, does is not really affected by this this kind of uh, utilization. <clears throat> and this this you can see here if you look at the numbers itself, you have here this 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 uh, these red links, which are heavily utilized, but still the the power consumption of this device is about two hundred fifteen watts. Whereas, for example, uh, there we have take some random here. This one, uh, this core device has a, a consumption of 216 watts, even though there is not not the same kind of utilization and so on. And then for the customer premise equipment, so the the outer ring of devices, you see we have different uh, a few different types. We have um, some where we have no data available. This is just because uh, yeah, there's some some data missing in our system. <clears throat> And we didn't uh, manage to, to check these in time. And also, uh, then we have the, the, the yellow ones and the, the green ones. So basically, we have two different de device types in this case. The ones th which are closely around 20 watts. And then we have the ones uh, which are about 5 watts. And for example, here, in this heavily utilized link, we have two devices which are actually about 5 watts only. 
<clears throat> so the utilization itself does not uh, directly um, influence the, the, the power consumption of, of the devices in a strong way. On the right, um, we can see two graphs, um, which show again the, the uh, or not again, but uh, show the, the total power usage of our system. So this is about totally, if you sum it up, um, about 4,000 watts. Um, does this whole core and also customer premise equipment network uh, consume? And also uh, the individual power usages. Uh, what I told you, basically, we have the three different types. We have the 200 watt types, we have the 20 watt types, and then the one about five watts. So these are just individual graphs of each um, of each device. <clears throat> Um, we also uh, wanted to, to um, combine this with uh, additional reporting. So we use the reporting function of StableNet to create uh, basically a cool story about all these um, observations, which looks like this. We have again uh, a similar weather map as before. I'm sorry for the for the uh, um, German. Um, uh, yeah, titles, but still, this is this basically just uh, the, the same um, the same uh, weather map as before. We have the the core devices, which are now collapsed into a single node, so you can just uh, view only the customer and premise equipments. And here, from left to right, what we actually did is um, we increased uh, the traffic by a certain amount. Um, for example, uh, in the middle, we have 50% increase of uh, traffic uh, or utilization. And on the right, we have an increase of 100% of utilization, just to see which ones are the, uh, the, the, the nodes or the links which are then first uh, uh, switching into the uh, different uh, regions of utilization. <clears throat> we see there are some, some, some little changes. We see here the, the, the yellow line and the red line, but still, most of the, the uh, um, network is still not uh, utilized uh, yeah, beyond 30%. <clears throat> a different view again here in the lower, in the lower part is now the, the, the same we used in the better web before with the uh, core then uh, being shown fully. Um, so nothing, nothing really new to see here in this case. Also here uh, we have the, the core devices themselves only in, in the core network showing, OK, yeah, this is just uh, um, basically to, to, to identify um, which are the devices which are most heavily used, utilized in the system. So you can see here, OK, this maybe this Juniper uh, ACX and this Juniper ACX here. And we know, OK, this, these are the most important ones we have to look at, maybe. <clears throat> um, the reporting function also allows us to um, generate uh, a table, for example, which shows us the, the most utilized um, devices over a certain time. And we see here the top three devices, for example, these are the uh, three devices we have. They are utilized more than 97%. Uh, so in our theoretical scenario, when, using, when increasing the, the uh, utilization, this would not work properly, of course. Um, and we can also visualize these. So take, taking the, the first three of these, they look awfully similar. And this is this is actually this actually fits quite well because um, we found out that these are actually um, devices which um, correspond to each other. So this is basically one single line where uh, um, data is transferred over the week weekend from one point to, uh, over the core network to another. So these correspond perfectly to each other. And then uh, on the fourth spot we have some some which is yeah totally different from these. So th th obviously this 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 then looks quite different. This was the ingoing utilization. This is not the outgoing utilization, which looks perfectly similar, just a different color, but still same shape everywhere. And this is what I told you. This is this why we, we identified this as a single single line. So this were, were three devices. So the CPE, ACX, and CPE device again, a single line from one customer doing a backup uh, over the weekends basically utilizing the full network capacity or the full full uh, line capacity at that time. <clears throat> and this is also what is shown what was shown earlier in the graphic the, 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 the three devices uh, connected with the five watt uh, um, system uh, or device the 20 215 and uh, again five watt 
device, which you can also, again, show in this graphic, which I showed before. This was this single line here, or in a single line, but with this connection here between the, these devices. So, and this ultimately gives us some, some kind of visibility on how network uh, or how networks um, consume power or how different uh, different devices uh, uh, in networks also con will consume power. <clears throat> For the finishing part, I will switch to something a little bit different. Uh, I'm straying a little bit from our stable end universe and show you something we have done also in 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 terms of these observations. And these, this is uh, a dashboard we created based on the data. Ultimately, we want this to uh, to be included in in some way in stable at some point or alternatively in in a different dashboard software like Score. But um, to show you why this is quite interesting, um, we have here in this in this bar graph on the on the left, we have analyzed the uh, different device types uh, or the device models of our network. So you already saw these ACX and the, the ECS uh, uh, devices, but there are a lot more of these. And in blue, you can see the the power consumption of all of those uh, devices combined. And in orange, you see the amount of devices which are used in the network. So basically, if you have a high blue bar and the low orange bar, this is quite bad because a low amount, a low amount of devices consumes a high amount of power. So basically, you want something like this, uh, the ECS 2000 whatever, which consumes uh, far less power than anything else in the, in the whole system, but uses uh, uh, where used. Uh, 61 times in, in this whole system. So basically, this is the most uh, energy efficient device we actually have in the system. Uh, on the right, you see in this pie chart also the utilization of all the devices. And this is um, quite an interesting part because um, in the network it's, itself, utilization is something which is um, yeah quite minimal. All, uh, about 85% of devices are actually utilized between zero and two percent, whereas only a few devices are utilized more than that, <clears throat> which is quite interesting because you use all the, those devices; they are not really used, but then again, they consume power in some way. And this is, there's always, the, of, of course, the question: How can we actually improve on this? And finally, we have uh, some some summing up metrics to. Uh, yeah, see it how our uh, environmental uh, impact is on on the um, uh, of our network or uh, communication network. So we have the total energy per year. This is about 145 megawatt megawatt hours, and we have also the CO2 emissions in uh, uh, 63 tons of CO2 equivalents <clears throat> for one year. This is roughly the same amount as, uh, for example, 16 16 cars. <clears throat> and with that, I think I thank all of you for for watching. And um, yeah, let's get to some questions.